working for Hawaii. Manolo, thank you. So now that the governor is reopening Hawaii to tourism under those certain conditions, the question is, how is Hawaii and different companies going to start enticing people to return to the islands? Sarah Madison joins us now with more on that part of the story. Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association President Mufi Hanneman tells us the economic road to recovery will be very long and painful, and we won't be seeing visitor numbers like we used to anytime soon. Hanneman tells us it will be up to individual hotels in terms of how much money they actually have to spend on marketing. The overarching objective is to market it in a way that people know that uh, it's a new normal here. Uh, this is a place now that uh, really wants to rebrand itself as a very safe and healthy destination. So if you're going to come here, we want you to come here uh, being healthy. Expedia Group, which is a travel platform that runs sites like Expedia.com and Verbo.com, tells us it has worked directly with Governor David Ige on the 14-day quarantine and will continue to work with local government and communities on how best to get the word out. Now that Governor Ige has made that announcement, we stand ready to work with any locality that wants to talk about how to do this, whether it is promoting tourism, uh, look via the tools that we offer or, you know, uh, communicating with travelers about the restrictions or the means in which Hawaii will uh, open up responsibly. We also reached out to some of the airlines. Southwest tells us in addition to resuming all our previous flying, we'll also begin new service from Honolulu to San Diego on August 1st, and we will increase our service between Honolulu and Kahului from four to six flights a day in each direction. Sarah Madison, KJON2 News, working for Hawaii. And checking the numbers today, six 